What's going on, guys? Happy Halloween week and happy Tuesday Blues Day. We actually have a huge one in the 4K department. A lot of older titles getting restored to 4K. And I'm talking older like 1930s, 1940s. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about in a minute. So if you guys are collectors and if it's your first time here, make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up for more content like this. And what I'm talking about is physical media content. If you guys are collectors like I am and you guys appreciate movie stuff like this, as well as reviews that I always have on the channel every week, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe and always leave comments below. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's go into our first store and check out what content they got today. All right, guys, so my Walmart right here is looking a bit naked on the shelves, but it looks like a Cinderella story, Christmas Wish. Not too sure, maybe it's like a Lifetime movie or something like that. Let me know in the comments below. Just looks like another holiday flick that's coming out. It's 1996 for the Blu-ray and 1496 for the DVD. Also, an action movie that just came out. It's 10 Minutes Gone. This one's with Michael Chiklis and Bruce Willis. Don't know too much about this movie right here, but it looks like a, Bruce Willis is kind of doing a lot of straight-to-DVD type of films. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen it. Also is Warrior. I believe it's a TV show and it's based on the writings of Bruce Lee. This is the DVD plus digital guys and uh, it looks pretty cool. I mean just artwork wise and uh, character wise but I might have to check this one out because I don't know anything about it. It's a Cinemax series. Also another one that came out is Them That Follow. I believe this is like a horror type movie. I'm not really sure 100% guys. Let me know in the comments below. It does look like a pretty freaky movie just based on the cover but let me know in the comments below if you've seen it. All right, so not much action in Walmart. Let's see if we can get some good stuff at Best Buy. So much good stuff over here at Best Buy. So starting off with John Wick, the collection, $44.99, guys. Oh, 4Ks. These are awesome right here. Looks beautiful. Looks like the John Wick 3 cover. If you guys don't have this, add this to your collection, definitely. I unfortunately have a third one, so I don't think I'm going to be adding this to my collection. As well, I think it's a 4K just came out. Aquaman right here, $24.99. Last week, the Charlie's Angels came out, I believe. And The Wizard of Oz on 4K is a huge release right here, $24.99. I'm actually going to pick this one up right here, The Wizard of Oz. The Steelbook right here, plus the Blu-ray. This looks beautiful, guys. This is like a 19... I think 1940 release, something like that. I definitely want to add this to my collection. This looks awesome. It's also another one. I think it's a TV show, AMC... BBC America right here, 1999, A Discovery of Witches. Not too sure about that one. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen it. And this is why I love Best Buy. They have such a collection. So much more than Walmart today, at least. You got the whole Batman uh, Beyond the Complete series right here with the limited edition Funko Pop right here. It's like a little mini, or it's actually a full-size uh, Batman limited edition Funko. So this is a complete series, I believe from like 1999 to 2001, something like that. So $80 right there for the complete uh, Beyond series on Blu-ray, as well as that series that I showed you guys earlier from Walmart. But that was a DVD plus digital. It's called Warrior. And uh, this is from, uh, based on the writings of Bruce Lee right here. So I have not seen this, but this looks awesome. I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan too, so I don't know why I didn't hear about this. But as well as, it looks like there's some steelbooks of A Christmas Vacation right here. I might, damn, this is really, really cool. I didn't even know they had this one. Haven't seen that as well as Elf, Best Buy exclusive steelbooks. And uh, It's a Wonderful Life was another release that came out today uh, on 4K HDR. I think this is like in the 40s, 1940s. It's never really been released as well as season one of Goblin Slayer. Don't know too much about that one, but that one did come out today as well as uh, this 10 Minutes Gone, which I showed you guys at uh, Walmart right here, $14.99. Now, I don't know if I saw this last week. Let me know if you guys have seen this. It's called, what is this called? NOS4A2. Not sure if that's the official title, if it's abbreviation for something. But uh, yeah, this looks, I don't know, this looks kind of interesting. It says a different kind of vampire story, season one. Let me know if this is any good, guys. AMC, they're always putting out good stuff. So I think this came out today as well. As well as this right here, Dauntless, The Battle of Midway. I think these are usually movies that come out, try to play off of other movies. So we have that movie Midway coming out soon. This is based on a true story. And it's always really cool to check out this section right here, guys. The Blu-rays for $5.99. I think it's really worth, you know, checking out, especially if you guys don't have a lot of these titles. Maybe not Speed 2. That was terrible. But, you know, different things like Boondock Saints, if you guys don't have them, add them to your collection. Really, really cool things, guys. Page Master, always a really, really fun one from Macaulay. Um... It looks like, uh, what's this, Batman the... Oh, this is like a old Batman, I think? Or 
yeah, this is like the older Batman's with Adam West. Um, so you have a lot of cool office space classics. If you don't have stuff like that, Dodgeball. You got 28 Weeks Later, just in time for Halloween. You know, like a, I don't think I've ever seen this edition of Napoleon Dynamite. Stuff like that. You know, Inside Man. Hellboy 2. Hellboy 2, which was a real cool one like that. So there are different things like that. Howard the Duck, real goofy things. Ted... There's so many good things in here, guys. If you guys don't have them, Adam Chickle. I have so many of these already in my collection. All the Batmans, the older Batmans. Terminator 3, which wasn't too bad. Kill Bills 1 and 2. You know, different random things like that. So if you guys want to add them to your collection, definitely check out this section. All right, guys. So I did end up picking up that exclusive Best Buy Steelbook of The Wizard of Oz. It's the 80th anniversary. It looks beautiful in this steelbook. Um, this has always been like a guilty pleasure movie of mine, guys. I think it's really a, a big, you know, family favorite amongst so many, you know, generations. And I just remember seeing this on television all the time. And it was just a, a real feel-good movie. And it made me feel so good inside just to kind of watch this and just, you know, trip into fantasy land is pretty much what it is. And uh, if you guys don't know the story, I'm uh, you know, it's it's kind of like not a difficult story to get into, but there's a lot of things going on. But pretty much uh, the 4K special features on this, guys, uh, there's a commentary featuring Oz historian John Frick with Barbara Freed Saltzman, which is the daughter of author uh, Arthur Freed. And uh, it has uh, The Wonderful World of Oz, the making of this movie classic. Uh, of course, it stars Judy Garland, guys. And uh, my girlfriend just saw that movie, the biopic of Judy. And she said, uh, you know, this woman had an incredibly hard, hard, difficult life. And, and you know, it's an amazing movie, Oscar worthy. Uh, I totally forget who played the, uh, you know, who's the actress that played Judy Garland. But I had to add this to, to the collection, guys, because I've never had this even on DVD. And, and it's such a such a good story. Um, but like I said, it, it, you know, has great music. Uh, I'm sure the restoration, I have not seen the restoration of what it looks like. But like I said, I always caught it on TV. It looked great back then. Uh, I'm sure it's going to look amazing in 4K with the HDR and, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, let's just go to Target, which is our last store. And let's see what else we can find today. All right, so let's head into Target. All right, so it looks like there's nothing that's different. Wizard of Oz, 24.99, 4K. That's all I see. It's different. Sorry, I'm trying to walk around a little bit. It's always so loud in this section, but I don't see anything that is different, and that's really, really disappointing. Yeah, I don't see anything different, guys, so... Now, I think this might have been new. The Sonic and Eggman uh, collection. Season 1. Didn't see this last time, so I'm not sure if these complete collections right here of the Nickelodeon shows and the Sonic are new. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know, but don't see anything too different, guys. Yeah, everything from last week and, like, last couple of weeks it's luke hemsworth i did see and it kind of was like what i'm always dropping shit everywhere but yeah luke hemsworth encounter don't know what this is about it's like an alien type movie it says an alien discovery is about to change everything okay don't know anything there's not even a price right here so let me know if you guys know all right guys so it looks like unfortunately the spot to be at today is at best buy they had everything that pretty much released today you know minus a couple of dvd shows and, and blu-ray shows here and there but it was like 4k day for sure like i said a lot of the older titles were being released today and remastered in 4k so if you guys are collectors and i hope you guys are because we got to keep that physical media alive and going it's just there's just something about the 4k restoration that makes movies just so much more enjoyable especially on a larger 65 inch and plus screen tv guys i just say definitely add all this nostalgia to your collection if you guys don't have it also keep in mind that blu-ray section at best buy guys it's a hidden gem and it's always in the back by the video game section no one ever goes over there it's always so packed but i always go there personally because sometimes just for six bucks i'll find something that i don't even have in my collection you know whether it be comedy horror whatever and i always add it to my collection because i mean six bucks 
it ain't nothing. It's nothing, guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys are collectors like myself, please give this video a thumbs up. I always really do appreciate it. Leave some comments below if you guys did pick up anything. Like you guys just saw, I did pick up that Wizard of Oz, the Steelbook, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. It just looks beautiful. It looks so rosy and red with the, you know, roses that she's laying in, Judy Garland. And it's just going to be an awesome addi addition to my collection. And I haven't seen the movie in probably a decade or so guys so it's gonna be awesome seeing it once again so once again to support this channel please hit that thumbs up leave comments and hit that subscribe button also you guys can check out our reviews now on spotify just search for flicks talk podcast hit that follow button and you guys are supporting the channel thank you guys so much till next time i'm gone peace